stuff because I am planning on making a trip up to Tri-State semi-frequently for some some collision events. Shout out to my boy RJ. Oh, that's huge. Well, if you're if you're going to be at DNA, I took third at an online DNA not too long ago. See, which was this is very he's, surprising. He's a top commentator. He's a top player. He's a top musician. What can't this man do? I, I, I actually do my tactic, and I can't uh, <laughs> no, I still don't think I've washed my hair correctly. So, yeah. See, I I just don't do taxes. Tax evasion is uh it's my specialty. It's the it's the newest style. Oh, I did take on Rivers. I got wrecked. Yeah, Rivers broke out the Crom, and I learned what Crom can do. But we're gonna learn what Midnight and Morsalsa can do against each other, as they nair each other to death. This is yeah. I wasn't even thinking about it a second ago, but I think both of them have acknowledged the fact that this will be nair and neutral beat because both of them have really good zoning neutral beat. Midnight, Midnight with auto reticle and more salsa with uh, the wolf wolf gun. Both of them have really fast, really good nares. So she's she going to be duking out nair the other. You block a full nair from Palutena. Like honestly, it's one of the best feelings in the world. Yeah, without getting like... shield poked, because I always get <laughs> shield poked by those stupid hits. Yeah, it's like the shield did the whole thing. What a miracle. <laughs> And so more cells is feeling great, and that's how you dodge the explosive flame. We love to see it. Zoop, back showing on their stage. Boy, uh, showing their boy Fruits a little bit of how it's done, getting back onto the stage. You can't spot dodge that dude. You can't, it lasts yep. too long. That's a big beam of light. That laser is like, I, I don't see other Palus use it, I think, nearly enough. I think recently I've seen Chag start to utilize it a lot more. But I think that, uh, that back here hit. Interesting. Okay, poor Salsa, I see you. And uh, get, getting that explosive light there, that not, or explosive flame, explosive light. I don't know what she's saying. Who knows? She's the goddess of light, explosive flame, whatever. They're all the same thing. Thank you, Sakurai. Thank you, Sakurai. Very cool. <laughs> Midnight just fishing for this this ledge trap here and going to send Morsalsa right back off stage, forcing out the air dodge, but no punish. Okay. Morsalsa going to get a little bit lucky that maybe Midnight did exactly predict where they were going with that. But uh, they're still in quite a bit of trouble. 131% going to be able to get the uh, reflector out in time to avoid the kill from the explosive flame. I think one more of these big hits off stage is going to going to be curtains for Morsalsa's second stock here for winners finals. 154 is Wolf. Fine, that'll do it. T bye two bye. Deck, I don't know about that one. Never plane. Woo! Choo choo. Uh, that, I was about to say choo choo, but planes don't planes don't go choo choo. Those are trains. I I'm I'm doing all right, guys. I, I th feel like they, the most significant noise that an airplane makes is like <gasps> the, okay. okay. Is the, the most significant noise that an airplane makes is more salsa dead. <laughs> That's the noise. I was going to say the buckle your seatbelt light, but uh, ain't no seatbelts there. He just went right out the stage. So uh, midnight looking really good going into round two, game two here. So where do you think Wolf is trying to take this? So, uh, Midnight probably going to ban, I would say ban Smashville, and probably, I have no idea what uh, the MSM stage list is, to be honest with you, uh, but probably ban Smashville and Small Battlefield if that's available. And then Wolf is probably going to want to go to either PS2, which they were just on, or Final Destination. I wouldn't want to go there if, I, if that just happened, but... But maybe he will run that back. Sometimes you get the, the confident run back and it just kind of scares the person. You know, it's like, oh man, they, they want to go back there? It's, okay, and then you say okay, but then what happens is you psych yourself out. So there you go. Maybe that's what's happening. <laughs> Sorry, I do I do just want to... I, I don't think he's watching because he's probably already passed out. Uh, but... What the hell? Shoutouts to Adamus. He won Fusion tonight. I don't know how he, how that man does. How, Wait, I really? Know. Adamus? I I, I, plays a the DVD, DVD, right? Yeah, I don't know. know. I don't know how Trevor. I don't know how Trevor won. I uh, won Fusion with with DDD. And yeah, this is offline. Dude, he, huge he, respect. I mean, he he's beat, really good. 
He beat like Stretch, Beast, and Boosk to win, which is insane. Wow. Wow. That is super hype. Shout outs to Trevor, man. He's been he's been running it down the brawl days, and I I don't think he's ever gonna stop being godlike. The big fat yeah. penguin. Well, I remember he he took me out uh one time he played. Uh if if memory serves. And yeah, 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 he did. And I was like, yeah, DDD. Okay, this is like basically a game where Mega Man shoots a lemon and it does 500 damage because it hits a Gordo back at DDD. But um, but no, he he he's got that matchup on lock. So I'm not surprised. I would imagine IRL. I would imagine he also won that IRL tournament with the tag DDD is awful because that's just how Trevor is. Um, but yeah, like. I, he he's been running it down like all the way back to his PGR in the brawls days. He he's never stopped being goaded on the sticks. But speaking of goaded on the sticks, Midnight has already started this off with some insane pressure, trying to get the up smash on ledge, but instead settling for the down throw to continue this pressure. Yeah, and this FD looking a little e even worse, I think, than um in PS2. I think we'll the say big I did call out FD. Pat uh, on the back. Yeah. You know, the big advantage on PS2, I think, is the Nair positioning for uh, for Midnight, which uh, more Salsa was being able to deal with, I think. But it's everything else that's almost a problem. So, oh boy. No platforms, nowhere to hide. Let's see how it goes. This could get evened up. Keep up that blocking. Nair playing. Buckle your seatbelt. Comes back down though, and more salsa. He could be taking the stock pretty soon. He's looking for these back airs at ledge. Tries to catch the down smash, but doesn't manage to connect with it. And now Midnight has center stage control again, and that is a frankly terrifying thing, Peter. I, I do not like it when Midnight has control of center stage. You know you're about to see someone take a lot of damage. Yeah. And that little pivot turnaround at ledge, it's like, oh, something bad is gonna happen. <laughs> Beautiful control from Midnight, just uh, hopping all over, and then when you least expect it, letting out a, a big wallop. Uh oh, we lost Vance again. Can we get a moment real quick to celebrate how I haven't really dropped? <laughs> yeah, you're you're killing it. <laughs> oh, I think we're back. All right, we're back. We're back. Oh, oh. oh no, dude! During the fast forward time, we see Requiem just die to the ether oh. i i don't know what happened i wonder if if the arena might have also lagged during his recovery because vance's internet dropped which is if so is very unfortunate but i'll see that in the uh in the match chat <laughs> he's uh he's taking it in stride at least yeah and uh and recovering beautifully from it He's back, gets the down smash too. So yeah, like you said, recovering beautifully, 46% only. Like this is still very doable for a wolf. Oh, as long as, as long as Midnight doesn't like keep him trapped at the ledge, you know. Yeah, that, but those it, don't do nothing now, so. Yeah, but these ledge traps do yeah, ledge a whole lot. <laughs> Almost oh, getting the counter on his recovery. That could have been it if he got that down air, but yeah. Oh, nope. Such nice movement from more salsa getting back on stage like that. Punishing that that uh, reflect to the nth degree. That could be it. Yeah. Yeah, dude. He might he might be able to get this. He's looking for the edge trap here. Doesn't find it with the just manages to get midnight right back off stage to continue doing it. How is he keeping him like this? This is the first time I've actually like seen Midnight sweating in a situation like this. Does get back up on stage though. Takes control of it and the dash. Peter, what? That was stupid. No, I have to say it. That was dumb as hell. The up smash was already started. It was in its active frame and Palu's dash attack just clanked with it and killed. Well, I I'm going to draft up an email really quick. Um, help at Nintendo.com. Please redesign Palutena, Mr. Sakurai. 
Yep, I, I just, just sent that's the, the email. whole email. Just redesign Palu. I, I just sent the email and looks like a new patch has started. So um <laughs> we gotta postpone the tournament. Sorry guys, Peter patched the game. <laughs> so here we go. We got um everybody while we're here waiting for uh game three to, to come through, why don't we talk about this donation tracker up there? We yeah, so this is uh this is the start of 2GG's efforts to help smash out Alzheimer's, Peter. They're uh, going to be doing throughout the week a whole bunch of donation incentives leading up to an eight-player invitational hosted by my good buddy Hungrybox on his own stream, featuring Hi, seven. Yeah, that's true. Good man. <laughs> He's a uh, I, I love Hbox dude, but uh featuring seven incredible players like the likes of Mr. E, MK Leo, Wadi, Spargo, and more. And also, whoever wins this MSM bracket is going to find themselves a ticket in. Let's see if we can't nair loop Alzheimer's out of here. <laughs> oh, God, I wish we could. Imagine Im if it were so easy, dude. If it were only so easy. <laughs> if only the my email to Nintendo could really do that real quick. All right, here we go. Zooming back on stage. Midnight really carrying that momentum, I think, from the last seconds of that round here on Kalos massive stage um, not gonna get tricked by that explosive light um, saving their second jump beautifully more salsa yeah I think more salsa I mean or midnight rather goes yeah I, I know I cheesed the hell out of that last stock and I'm gonna absolutely take that momentum into the next game and there's nothing you can do about it so starting this off I do like the pick for more salsa though going to Kalos means he's gonna have a little bit more survivability especially in the offstage time. And he is going to be able to go. take the first stock off. Lead. Stock lead for the first time in the set, I'm pretty sure. And uh, yeah, keeping that momentum going. Zap. Zap. Oh, we're, oh I, for, I forgot about that for a second. I was like, what's he talking? Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, Morsalsa gets caught in the great catch by Midnight, uh, waiting for that short hop uh, into the explosive flame, going to be able to get a nice... A bit of stage positioning. It hasn't been able to get the kill yet. Even that up smash, not quite enough to take out the stock yet. Ooh, nice. Beautifully timed reflect. Yeah, get or, sorry, get up attack. No punish from Midnight, interestingly, though. Usually Midnight is more than punished those with like a, a short hop bear out of shield. But more salsa. Out here with a vengeance, catches the bear on the platform, takes down Midnight's second stock, and now he's got a full two-stock lead. Yup, this could be a three-stock right here. We're talking about Peter Bergman. I, blessing. I yeah. don't know if I would if I would put my my blessing on that one so soon. Oh what? hang on, he might actually one. be blessed, Pete. <laughs> I don't know that how was, I don't know how he lived through that other than like divine intervention and that and that and uh, that and that and that and <laughs> yeah we definitely okay blessings have to end at 181 percent that's that's true divine intervention only goes so far I uh, finally taken out there midnight still in this game like it's not undoable reverse three stock stranger things have happened to MSM online but I don't think more salsa is going to be looking to drop this game. Still keeping up that great pressure on Midnight Shield. Still keeping up that great advantage state. 92% means a stock more than feasible to a back air sometime soon. I'm just anxious watching this. I think the the possibility is just existing in the back of my mind that Midnight might take this. It's and the fact that like the, it, it's entirely possible that midnight does this to, to more salsa is just making me anxious <gasps> yeah, but, you yeah, saw the up smash yeah. start there didn't you you saw it too i did i did back throw oh, should man. kill here good nope. di okay that's a kill yeah oh man yeah you're right dude the fact that that could happen is just so distressing <laughs> Because we are seeing beautiful play from more salsa here. Like we saw Midnight cheese out the last stock of game two with that, that dash attack. So I, I'm I'm wondering what other cheese Midnight has in their pocket, and it's like entirely possible here. Here comes the airplane, so this should be about 40%. Yeah. 47 actually with that additional up air. 
I was literally expecting to see another up air and like KO'd. Okay. <gasps> okay. There we go. There we go. Okay. Fair enough. Thank Sakurai <laughs> that Midnight did not reverse three stock. Like it, it could be you. It could be me. Check on your neighbors. Make sure they're not getting reverse three stocked. It's uh, never a good feeling. Never. Oh, man. No, this is very, very great. Uh, great set so far. Honestly, next round is anybody's. I, I really think that next game hopping into game four well we do uh need to remember of course that this is best of five and now more salsa has to win two more games on or in a row on midnight's counter picks so that's that's a that's, tall task it is a tall task um and now i wonder where they're going I'm going to say back to PS2, honestly. That's interesting, because I, I think I think more sauce is ready for it. See you in just a second. Ah, there we go. The We're running it back to PS2. We'll see, because I do recall that uh, it wasn't all that close on PS2 in game one. It was kind no. of a dominant two stock for midnight. He was also got to play this careful, but he's off to a good start. <clears throat> he had to adjust uh, more salsa and looks very different right now. He looks on fire. Good landing near though, and that's going to be the back throw off stage for great positioning. Here's where things get tough. It's getting off the ledge versus midnight, but more salsa does it. There. Oh, thought that was it. Zap, zap. Explosive light. <laughs> Zap, zap. Auto reticle. And that's it. Yep. Auto reticle is such a killer against characters with like slightly more lackluster recoveries, but there's another boot to the butt from more salsa there. Going to send Midnight into that top blast zone. Take the stock and now building up a little bit more of a lead. 20%. Not terrible. Certainly not there's exactly what he's doing. Nair loop right there, right there. Oh, nice. Did avoid the Nair loop. Zap. Ooh, auto reticle. Didn't happen. Double back air. Is that what we just saw? Yeah. <laughs> it's sometimes it really just do be like that. <laughs> oh, sometimes it'd be like this though. What are we gonna see? <gasps> <laughs> no, bro. What the hell? I hate all of that. All everything that just happened, I hate all of it. Even even that ending there. Yeah, that was just goofy. <laughs> okay, getting over the laser though, that's nice. That was so goofy. <laughs> Looks that was like just, uh, everything is about that was wrong. Granted, all of it. Mapping out of that uh, shield situation, I guess. Does mashing help? Speed yeah, you can, you can, you can, uh, it gets slightly faster the more you mash. Um, yeah, I think, I think that was a mashing situation. I, Ooh. but I think it was also just like, uh, no more also not too. really respecting it. Exactly. Thing. Like, he should like, probably should have just up smashed. Probably. <laughs> exactly. That's going on, yeah, that's going on yeet smash for like top 10 shield break fails. I don't know. <laughs> have you ever seen Blitz Luigi's, uh, shield break fail? Yeah, I, I think Blitz Blitz is sometimes too creative for his own good, dude. Cause like sometimes he'll go for like those insane like uh metal blade setups when he breaks shield and then just completely whip and it's so sad. It's a legend. Oh no! But speaking oh, of so boy. sad, Midnight is about to steal this game away from more self though. Yeah. Or not. It's it's still possible, like 54%, 66, 81, still building up. Both of these characters are at kill percent, so the next big hit's going to decide whether or not we go to a game fight. Oh, that was scary. <laughs> I have to say, More Salsa is doing a great job getting back down on the stage from those heights. Oh no. Midnight and oh. Grand. See ya, see ya, Midnight Grand. See ya, Grand, Midnight. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I, I, this, I like the second one more. The second one actually made sense. The, the second one was correct. 
The Midnight Grands. It depends on what time zone you're in. When, if it'll be Midnight Grands. 